To set up the recruitment module in SageHR, from the top right click your name and then settings. Now from the left click recruitment and start with general. Like other modules in SageHR, start by specifying the recruitment administrators. Select the relevant options from the three listed and click save. There are default disqualification reasons already in SageHR which you can edit, delete and create new reasons. To create a new reason, click add new, then give this reason a title. When you are ready click save. In groups you can define the employees that fall under the headings given, administrators, hiring managers, interviews and external recruiters. To assign someone to that role, click the pencil icon. Select the required employees then click save. If you need another group, you can create this by clicking on the Add New Top Level Group button. A subgroup can also be added under a main group by clicking on the plus sign next to the relevant group. Under Careers page you can enable a careers page including information about your company and include any legal text you may need to display. Each group and subgroup will have its own career page where you can set different legal text and other information. If you make any changes here, when you are finished, click save. You can use pipelines to control the stages that an applicant must go through as part of their application process. A standard recruitment pipeline is already in Sage HR, but you can customize this or create additional ones too if you need different pipelines for different positions. Pipeline categories show for you to enable or disable when you create a new pipeline. There are five pipeline categories, new, sourcing, selection, offer, and hired. You can add new stages to sourcing, selection, and offer. Click on the plus icon underneath a category. Name the stage, then click save. If you want to edit a created stage, click on the pencil icon next to it. You can create multiple different pipelines for your recruitment process, as you may have different roles that require different stages. Once you have set up your pipeline categories, you can create new pipelines, or amend current ones, and configure what categories apply for a particular pipeline. To add a new pipeline click on the Add New button. Name the pipeline, and if required enter a description. Under Pipeline Steps, select what pipeline stages are required, optional or should be disabled. When a stage is required, the action needs to take place before the next stage can continue. The optional setting allows you to skip the stage if required. If a stage has been disabled, it will not form part of this pipeline, but can be included if required. When you are done, click on Save. As with pipelines there is a default scorecard in Sage HR that you can use. You also have the option to create a new scorecard from scratch. To edit the scorecard, click the pencil icon. From here you can overtype the items or get rid of them completely using the delete icon. You can also add section by clicking on the add section button. Once you have made the desired changes, click Save. Under the Email Template section there are a series of headings under which emails can be sent out. 
Under each one that would be relevant to you, click Add New. Specify the title, subject and complete the email body, using any appropriate variables to autofill information. When you are satisfied with your email, click Save. Repeat this process for any more of the headings you wish to use. Under Practical Tasks you can create tasks to be part of the recruitment process. To create a new task, click Add New. Complete the title, email subject, and practical task description, then click Save. Requisition is not enabled by default. You can enable this by clicking the top box. This will activate the process of requesting new employees with approval flow and clear statuses for each request. New custom fields can also be added by clicking on the Add Custom Field option. When you have made the required changes, click Save. Sage HR has the option for data retention, it is not enabled by default, however, if you choose to enable this, you can specify when to send inquiry emails and how long to keep data for. You can make choices about data anonymization and if you wish to edit the email templates, using the pencil icon. When you are happy with the information on this page, click Save.